Inspector Dunham. Mind if I come in? Uh. Well, sure. Sure, come on in. Honey, is that the front door I heard? Yeah, uh, Nita, it's uh, Detective Dunham. Hello, Mrs. Ray. Oh, hello. Well, what do you want with Billy Joe? Oh, I just have to ask your husband a few questions. Uh, you don't mind if my wife finishes getting ready to go to the hospital while we talk, do you? Well, please, be my guest. Go on, Nita. Uh, I'll take care of this. Can I offer you anything, Detective Donovan? Oh, I... Uh, don't bother her. He won't be staying that long. Look, Donovan, uh, I'm a busy man here. I ain't got time for these little visits of yours. I hear you and your friend Elena Decker had quite a time for yourselves up in New York. Is that what you heard? Yeah. I hear you ran into trouble. Now, what's that got to do with you? Maybe nothing. But that's what I'm here to find out. Well, I'm telling you, it ain't got nothing to do with you. So now that you found that out, why don't you just go on home? Oh, no, hold on, right. Wait just a minute. Not so fast. You know, if I didn't know you better, I'd think you were trying to hide something. Look, Donovan, what are you trying to do here? Drum up some business and make it look like you deserve a raise? No, I don't need to do that. You and that Decker girl are making it real easy for me. Sure, sure, I get it. You found yourself an ex-kind, like me. So you think you got it made, don't you? Because just as soon as anything happens, you come to pin it on your flunky, don't oh, you? Oh, now, come on, right? Nobody's trying to pin anything on anybody. All I want to know is just a little bit more about that sailor you ran into in New York. Hey, don't give me that sailor stuff, huh? The guy's name is Joe Foster. You know that already. Well, what makes you think that? Because you heard all about it from the New York cops. Huh? Yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't be coming over here knocking on my door, now would you, huh? Yeah. Just checking. Yeah, well, why don't you just uh, go check somewhere else for a change, huh? Why? When you and Elena Decker seem to have all the information I need, huh? You know, I hear Elena knew this Joe Foster from Houston. Well, then you heard wrong. She didn't know Foster. She just met him, that's all. He was a customer at the coop. Uh, is Miss Decker in the habit of asking all her customers back to the trailer? She didn't ask him over, man. He decided to come over on his own. He abducted her. Or so the story goes. Yeah, that's what Elena tells me. I ain't got no reason to doubt her. Mm -hmm. Well, now, if he abducted her from her trailer in Houston... Why didn't you report it to the Houston police at the time? I'm looking at that reason sitting here right here in front of me. <laughs> That's very funny, right? That's so funny, I might just haul you down to the station house for more questions. Now look, Donovan, I told you, I gotta drive my wife over to the hospital. We're gonna see Ricky Decker, we're supposed to meet Elena. If that's all right with you... Yes, yeah, sure, that's all right with me. Besides, I found out what I want to know anyway. Yeah, no, what's that? That you don't want to talk about what happened to Foster or whatever he was after. Look, Donovan, if the sailor's dead, it don't matter what he was after. Oh, it matters, Billy Joe. It matters a lot. your tongue? Wasn't expecting you. I can imagine. The New York paper said you'd been shot. She might have died. Hoping? Hardly. Well, it takes more than a bullet grazing your arm to kill someone. Guess the papers got it wrong. Guess they did. So where'd you end up? One of your Chinatown haunts? Yeah, sure. Went and got acupuncture. You should have called. Sure. So you could tell the police where I was? Oh, Joe, now don't come whining around here looking for sympathy. I didn't ask you to louse things up. I didn't louse things up. Ah! You keep your grubby hands off of me. Don't do that again. You hear me? Or what? 
Ah, uh, Joe, you're a fool. You're a fool for ever showing your face around here again. Well, what am I supposed to do, huh? Waste away eating bean sprouts in Chinatown? I mean, you take all the profits? Hey, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, it's not gonna happen. I'm not taking the rap for Bernie and Chris. I never told you to kill Chris or Bernie. They wouldn't talk. You got carried away. You play too rough, Joe. Yeah, I do play rough. Remember that. Well, I don't have to. Because we're through. Wrong. We're not through. As long as I know what I know. And I'm not going anywhere till I get my share of that million bucks. Joe, forget it. The Decker girl doesn't have the key. She doesn't know where the money is. Maybe not. But somebody else does know. What are you babbling about? The key, the money, someone else has it. Oh? And just who do you think this person is? Elena's manager, Billy Joe Wright. Anita, are you ready yet? I'll be right out. Well, have, uh, have you and Detective Donovan finished talking? Yeah, for the time being. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Wright. Same here. When's that little one due? Oh, about a month now. <laughs> Why, you have a few questions you want to ask him, too? Just ask him. Sorry to bother you. Billy Joe and Bernie shared the trailer before the police raided Chris Shaw's porno operation. They were buddies. Ah, Wright's a greenhorn. He doesn't have enough sense to sit on all that stolen cash this long. If he had that key, he'd be spending that money like, like crazy. Maybe he didn't know what the key opened. He would have told the Decker girl. Maybe not. No. I dealt with Wright on that record deal that Jim Lawrence and I financed for him. If he'd had that kind of dough, I would have known him. Why? Maybe he's smarter than you think. Oh, look. Forget it, Joe. What do you mean? You were the one who thought Elena had the key. Yeah, because you said that the last thing Bernie Stokes said before he died was Elena's name. It's worth a shot. We're talking about a million bucks. <laughs> you darling, I love you. But I never thought I was going to get you out of here. this pretty green stuff, huh? Woo! Oh, I smell rich. <laughs> yes, sir. What am I gonna do? Yes, sir, green's my favorite color, but this has to be the prettiest shade I've ever seen. Where am I gonna hide all you pretty little bills, huh? Couple is gonna sleep real good tonight. <laughs> 